Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace your screen on a Hewlett Packard Star Wars Special Edition laptop. First of all, you're going to look for the two screws that hold the front bezel on, here and here. These will be under little sticky tabs, just like little wax circles. So I've went ahead and removed these. This is very straightforward. Anyone could do it, all you need is a screwdriver and that's about it. So let's start getting this apart. I always find that it's easier to take it off the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop it off all the way around. Make sure you, that your screen is tilted as far back as you can so that these bezel bits come off. So all you have to do is just pull. You may find that if you've already um, got a new laptop and you've never replaced it before, there is going to be adhesive all around the bottom and there will also be adhesive behind the screen so you need to be aware of that to remove the screen simply four screws each corner so these just come off as so i would also stress that it's recommended that you have your laptop fully shut down before you do this because sometimes the screen won't work if you just plug it in when it's powered on. So if you went ahead and done that and your screen doesn't work, turn your computer off and turn it back on and it may fix or resolve your problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my nail along the top and I'm just going to fold it out very carefully and set that on its front. You'll find your 30 pin connector on the bottom left. So um, if it's a new laptop, there's going to be a little bit of tape over the entire connector. Just run a, um, a wee blade or something across, but make sure that you don't touch the terminals or the pins, or you may cause damage to the pins or the connector. All you have to do is just gently break it off. And so and put your old screen to the side. Brand new screen I purchased from laptoplcdscreen.co.uk. Um, I got this from there, the guys were uh, very fast at getting it out, uh, everything was spot on, got it within two days. It's a great site, you'll get a laptop screen for pretty much anything. Um, so head over there, I'll drop the link in the description for you. They are great guys and um, yeah, so let's crack on. Here's a brand new screen, still with the sticky stuff off. Um, so if you tilt it back on its back, the first thing you need to check is to check that you do indeed have the same size of connector as you do on the old screen. So you can see that it's pretty much the same. Very simple. Just make sure that you put something on there to avoid damaging the screen at all if you can. And what you want to do is you just want to slip this connector back on. It requires a little bit of delicacy. and that's it so what you want to do is you want to gently put it back onto its risers you'll notice that there's little uh, black pins down in each corner it helps you guide the screen um, and you want to make sure that your cable is put back to where it was or you avoid damaging it when you put the front bezel back on and it's just a simple case of taking your screws I always start from the bottom but it doesn't really matter because you're gonna have your risers anyway on there as so just make sure that you screw everything in tightly there we are And that's basically that. Make sure that your cables and all that are tucked in neatly, they're not going to cause any damage. 
So what I'm going to do before I put the bezel back on, I'm going to power the laptop up just to make sure that the screen works. As you can see, works perfect. I just have uh, this dual booted with Windows and you boot it with Linux. As you can see, perfect quality. And that's it basically. Um, so this is the most rewarding part, the best part of the whole screen process is removing the plastic. Oh yeah. There we are. Plastic is off. Okay, to put the diesel on it's um, just the reverse of what you did before. Put in your guide at the bottom. Make sure that they clip back onto the brackets. I always start from the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around and gently snap all these back on. So I'll do the sides first. And there. You will need to do a little bit of finesse in the bottom. So all you need to do is snap these connectors back on. Then go ahead, once you're pretty sure that all the clips are back on, go and put your retaining screws for the bezel. And so, guys, it really is that easy. Anyone could do it. Shout out to laptoplcdscreen.co.uk for their amazing service and the quality screen at a competitive price. I'll drop the link in the description and that's it. Have a good day. Thank you so much.